Hello world, it's Curtis Potter with Balance Inspiration. I've been, I've been wanting to make this video for a long time. Um, I just had a, a in my gut to make this video and I struggled to make it. But the other day I had it just in my gut again, like randomly, hey, you need to make this video. So I'm doing it today. So I wanted to talk to you about when I lost my three month baby, three month old. So three months, whatever you want to call it, because it was not a baby that was out of my hands, but uh, my significant other was pregnant. Three months, we had already started buying clothes. We had already started telling people, picking out names, looking at cribs, looking at all kinds of stuff, right? And as you see, it's like it, it gets me worked up because it was one of the hardest experiences of my life. Um, I almost died. I, I got on my motorcycle and I got to um, just like five exits before Louisville in like 58 minutes. I had maxed out my bike to get to my buddy's house to talk to him. And I stayed the night. He talked me down and was like, man, you know, I'm feeling for you, Curtis. If you need anything, let me know. Got back on my motorcycle, headed back to Indy. Got to the Emberg Mall and my, my motor blew up in between my legs. I was doing like 65 mile an hour. Luckily, I wasn't on the highway. I'd have been going a lot faster. Blew up in between my legs. Oil all over my back tire. I almost laid the bike down. Somehow I didn't. And it was just a crazy event for me. Like, I couldn't handle my emotions enough to where I almost killed myself on my motorcycle, right? It was like I was playing Russian roulette, not with the gun, but with the bike. And see... That was, that was a really hard situation. And we go through really hard situations in life. And we're like, why me? Why did this happen? Poor me, victim me, right? And don't get me wrong, like, we're human. We're not robots. So, so you've got to mourn when you lose people. In this video, specifically, if you've lost a child, it sucks. It's hard and you can get through it like if you're still alive watching this video and you've lost a child you've gotten through it now it's going to take time to actually heal and i invite you to take that process however it looks for you whether it's counseling groups you know for me i think a big part of me healing was i ended up having two more children and now i spend so much time with them that a lot of times it's it's so far behind losing that baby that I don't really think about it unless it's like the day that the baby passed or like certain, um, his nickname was Sailor. So a lot of times when I see Sailor hooks, I think of Sailor. Um, but everything happens for a reason and I never will know why the baby passed away, but I know that I have two beautiful children and everything happens for us, not to us. So, you know, for all I know, the, the baby could have been handicapped and, and God was just like, you know what, I'm going to I'm going to bless you, even though you may not see it right now. I'm going to bless you. And I know that's hard to say when you lost one, like how is me losing my child a blessing? And I, I, I can't answer for every single situation, but I know that they happen to us so we can help someone else. If I would not have lost my baby back then, I, I would not be making this video today because I, I could make a video about losing a baby, but since I hadn't experienced it, it would just been something that I learned instead of something that I experienced. So today, if you're struggling with the loss, especially of a baby of yours or a child of yours, I just invite you to find the good that can come from that, whether it's your volunteering for a non-for-profit or some kind of event or charity that's giving back towards, you know, like they have Mothers Against Drunk Driving and, you know, there, there's a lot of people that lost their kid because of cancer or something and now they had started this raising money for cancer research and then it was something that healed millions of people. So I just invite you that no matter how hard that pain is and that time of what you went through when you lost that baby, find the silver lining, find the good, find the lesson from it, and find how you can turn it into good. 
And please, if you are still struggling, get some help. There's plenty of groups, especially people that have lost kids and got through it. You know, that's one thing I love about AA, NA, SA, all those different classes where they have the 12 steps. One of the most beautiful things about them is it's people that got through it. They were those addicts before and they got through it and then they helped other people through it. So if you're struggling to get through something right now, find the group, just Google it. It's at your fingertips to where you can find those groups that are close. They might even be remote. So you don't even have to go in person. Like if you're struggling, like, sorry, I think a gnat just flew up my nose. But if you're struggling and you're not even ready to look somebody in the face, face to face, you can do it remote. Some of them are hybrid where sometimes you're at home, sometimes you're in person. Start taking those steps to get that healing. Start, you know, grieving, studies show that depending on the level of loss you should take around 30 days to grieve and then start healing process so having your mind like you know what i'm going to go through i'm going to go through the grieving process and then i'm going to get through it and then i'm going to go to the healing process and then once i go through the healing process i'm going to help other heals from it because that's when you continue to get it out a lot of times I, I say a lot of this stuff over and over again in my videos because at first I was getting it out so it no longer was trapped inside me and, and baggage inside me. I was getting it out so it no more had power. But then sometimes when those triggers happen and you think about it and you start to you start to struggle through it, you may say you may have to say it again, you may have to yell it out by yourself. You just go outside and scream it out, whatever it is you have to do. But then when you start teaching these stories these lessons, helping people like, hey, this is how I got through it. That's when my voice becomes quieter and calmer because now I'm helping other people through it. And, and while you're helping people through it, it's also continuing to help you through it. So I hope this helped. If you are a parent who's lost a child and you had some kind of tip that really helped you, please put in the comment sections. Um, you know, I just give it up to anybody who's lost a child. I'm proud of you for staying strong and still being alive and not taking your own life because that's not going to heal anything. So I'm proud of you. And I'm excited to hear that story where you went and you talked with somebody about it and you got connected with groups and you turned it into something positive. Put in those comment sections, those positive things. If you are one of those parents to give everybody else who struggled through that process that story from not only me but you and you and you and everyone else who's had those success stories of losing a kid and getting through it so that way we can all just work together on a step closer to being boundless and one of them is breaking those chains of of loss and grief i love you all hope this helped like share comment drill you know that you know the drill and be boundless